you know in schooling in college uh, we are all taught about uh, saying the right thing right but suddenly you go to an industry which yeah. is uh, you know you got to set up a plant you basically have to go and uh, do an industry uh, you know a, a category where probably you are not uh, uh, you know uh, not knowing so how did you deal with ambiguity so how did you uh, how did you break it down yeah oh that's a great question ambiguity uh, and and the culture right uh, uh, where we come from uh, you don't question uh, the professors or uh, uh, you know uh, and I, I think the professors i don't know maybe I, my my dad was a professor so i shouldn't kind of generalize it uh, um you know you don't yeah that's a great question uh, so i think uh, in the us so that's one of the things um they teach you in schools and uh, uh and um, you know they challenge you on everything uh, you can't just assume that your view is the right view uh you you better have uh, good answers and good explanations uh, before you propose anything right so uh, so you had to do your homework uh, definitely uh, and a lot of times uh, you know um be you know i think of my uh, when i started out as an automation engineer a lot of times uh, i had to help with the maintenance or troubleshooting and things and you walk in um equipment is down uh, plant is down and uh, you know every i think a uh, hour uh, every hour the steel plant was down we were losing like 100 dollars or something like that this is almost 30 years ago so it's a lot of money and so there's you know um every uh, the company was a private company and there was a lot of pressure uh, and everybody got benefit if he made good tons so there's a lot of always a pressure when you walk in uh, and so early on um, you got to have good discipline uh and so you know lean teaches you uh, that's one thing i learn uh, um so I, I that's why i go back to my lean training um to le listen to your people uh and uh that's one thing um you know that's important for me uh, so you walk in uh, in any situation could be uh, you know you don't know what you're going to deal with whether it's a maintenance troubleshooting or a problem you're trying to solve um, and later on uh, when i was working for alcoa uh, we're an aerospace company we're supplying parts and i was in the digital transformation team we'll go to different plants and different sites and we walk in they had different problems one had efficiency issues they're not making fast enough others had quality issues uh, so different issues you had to walk in so you 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 go interview you spend time um, in the uh, field so to speak and learn uh, before you open your big mouth to uh, start suggesting things uh, that's important um, you know when you're dealing with ambiguity um, also you try to apply uh, instances and cases from parallel uh, industries and parallel uh, observation that helps uh, when you're dealing with the ambiguity and there's no substitute doing homework and uh, reading up on things uh, mm -hmm. those are the things and uh, um, in so to me it's a multiple different things there's no like a black and white uh, when it comes to ambiguity uh, and also eventually your experience also comes into play they they call it gut feeling you know, gut feeling is based on experience in my mind. Mm -hmm. So those are the things I generally use. So if you look at this section, Sridhar talks about how he deals with ambiguity. Most often in our education systems and in whatever we do over the first 20 years of our life, we actually know what questions are going to be asked and we are prepared for answering those questions. When you get into a business and when you get into a job, most often the problem is not known. Therefore, the importance of observing, understanding the business, looking at the business problem. And if you look at some of the points that he says, he does not talk about the solution first. He talks about listening to people, observing the process, understanding the business problem, and that I think is very, very important. He talks about the importance of discipline and not jumping to conclusions by first looking at each problem in a most modular manner. And then you go back and then say, okay, this is how probably you may need to solve. So the importance and the criticality of looking at the business problem, observing people, observing the process and learning from it is very very important